So today I'm going to be doing a products I used up during empties video. And I did one of these before and I don't know if you guys liked them or not. But like I really like filming them so I thought I'd do another one. So if you guys do like them give this a thumbs up. And if I get like 20 likes then I will continue to do more and make this like a series sort of thing. Because I personally like watching them and filming them. So yeah. Anyways, I just keep all my empties in a bag and this is the bag. It's literally, I got it for free from like Arrow one day when I bought stuff from there. So it's like, it's nice. Um, I kind of just throw everything in here. And I use up things a lot because not as much makeup, but other products I like to try new things. So when I use it up, I'll get something else. So let's just get on to the video. So the first thing and something I always use up is makeup removers. So this is the ones I was using before. This is the makeup remover cleansing towel that's from Up and Up. Now I always try different makeup removers because I really don't have ones that I prefer. But I thought these were amazing and I would definitely repurchase these like next time I need makeup removers. Because these are really good and they're really moist and they really take off your makeup like with one towel. The next thing I used up is a dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo clean and classic original. Now I really like this type of dry shampoo like this brand and everything. But I'm not going to be using like this specific one anymore because it is white and my hair is dark brown So like whenever I would use this it made it look like I had dandruff which is really bad So I actually purchased this in the like dark brown version which I will use from now on This is a very good dry shampoo if you have like lighter hair Um any kind of Batiste dry shampoo is really good The next thing is this uh shave cream And this is the Gillette Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shave Gel with Aloe Vera now this is fine. I mean I don't really think that there's like a such thing as like a good shave cream. They all like work and they all help you when you're shaving. So um, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this only because I want to try the EOS ones that everyone talks about. So that's just what I'm going to do. But this is a fairly decent one if you guys want to try out a new one. Next is this product. This is the Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover and it says that it's an ultra gentle one and that it's oil free. Now I would not agree that it is oil free because I did have oily residue like left over after I used this on my eyes so I had to like take it off with my actual towels that I use like the towelettes um my makeup removers. So like I wouldn't agree with that. I think it takes off your makeup which is good like if you're wearing waterproof and stuff like that. But if you wanted an oil-free one, then this is not the way to go. But, so yeah, I don't think I would repurchase it only because I don't like um, when they're like oily makeup removers. Next, I think I have like makeup products left. So this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And I love this so much. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this when I make it to the drugstore again. I think that this is super amazing. It really helps even out your skin and um, get rid of pores before like you apply your makeup. So this is really good. I really recommend it and it's only like $4. Next is this EOS. Now you're going to think like why? How are you out of an EOS lip balm? Well it's kind of like flat. Like I don't know if you can tell but um, I used it so much it's flat. So I'm kind of just saying that I'm out of it because I don't want to put that on my mouth anymore. So this is really good. I love EOS so much. Um, I have a bunch of different other ones and I think I already repurchased this one. So yeah. Next is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Now everyone raves about this. So do I. This thing is so amazing. It really helps to get rid of those dark circles underneath your eyes. I'm using it right now. As you can tell I repurchased it before I was even out because I knew I was going to need another one. And this is amazing. I'm in the shade Light Pale. Yeah, this is just super amazing. I love it so much. And I would definitely recommend this to everyone. Next is this Kula Face Mineral Sunscreen Natural BB Cream SPF 30. I got this in like a birch box or something. And I just decided to show it in here because I did use it for, like I used it up. And I thought it was really good. It was very like even. It was very smooth on your skin. And it really made you have like an even complexion. And I really liked that. Um, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this. I don't know how much it is actually, but it is a possibility that I will and I would definitely recommend this to you guys because it is very good if you want like a BB cream, but I just have so many that I don't need another one. And the last thing is not really like an used up, but it is a like beauty blender thing and it's really dirty so I'm just gonna like throw it out after this video. So I got this one from Forever 21 before I got my real beauty blender and this one I did not like. Like, I thought at the time that it worked, but then I realized, like, afterward that my skin was so uneven and it was really bad. And I got this for, like, $4 from Forever 21, which might be why it's not very good. And now it's, like, really, like, rough and hard and, like, 
the foam like or the rubber parts of it like start to come off which is really disgusting so I would not recommend that you buy one from Forever 21. I think you should invest in a real beauty blender from Sephora because they are very good and they work so well because I love mine now. And that is all for the video. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And don't forget I will have two videos up next week while I'm in Las Vegas. And then more videos to come when I am back. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.